it's D. So it's time to share my dividends for the month of August 2023. I did want to say I am not a financial advisor. And what I am sharing on my channel is the journey I am taking to retire early. And that is investing in the stock market, paying off my mortgage and saving. So yeah, y'all, that is what my channel is all about. If you're interested in that, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am on the road to get 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, y'all, um, I am book filming because it is my birthday month. So I am getting prepared for that. I did actually buy myself a couple items. And I'm excited for that because I really don't do any shopping anymore. But anyway, so... Let's get into this video. All right, this is a dividend tracker that I use to track my dividends every month. And this is available on these Digital World. And I would like to highlight two of my largest paying dividends for August. And these both are in my rollover IRA account. And I will insert pictures of the dividends and I do have all of my dividends reinvested so I can increase my share size of all the positions while adding any additional funds from my personal funds. And they just grow passively with the compound dividends that I receive. So I received a total of $37.60 in Jeffy. And I also received a total of $32.85 in O. I do have these positions in a couple of different of my portfolios, but those are the two biggest ones that I received. And I am also tracking my two brokerage accounts, which I'll be using in early retirement. And in my stash account, I received a total of $6.08. And in my... I love dividends account. I receive a total of 60 cents. So once I get my mortgage paid off, I will be focusing on getting these two brokerage accounts built up so I can have some income. And I'm hoping by the end of the year, I have at least a hundred dollars each month earned in just dividends from my investing. So that is my goal. Also, for each one of the positions for Jeffy and O, over 100 shares in each of those positions in that rollover IRA. And I will insert a picture of how many shares I have so you can see about how much I'm earning. See how much I'm earning per share or what have you. And last month, I forgot to share my other tracker that I use to see how much dividends I'm making from month to month and from quarter to quarter. So I need a total of $248.47 in dividends. In August, I received a total of $88.55. And I'm appreciative of that. It is a little bit below my goal. I want to get at least $100 as I stated. And if you see right here in the months in the middle, now I have noticed that the beginning of the quarter and the end of the quarter are doing better with dividends with my portfolio. So see right here, I went from $16 in February to $91.07 in May and $88.55 in August. And yeah, so that is something I'm trying to analyze as I continue to track my dividends. This is one main reason why I'm tracking it so I can see how I'm doing and reanalyze my positions and the holdings that I have. I did do a reallocation of my rollover IRA and another IRA in the months of April and May. So if you see my dividends grew quite a bit from April and May and June, I got $190.23. Then in July, as I stated before, I got $248.07. And then in August, I got $88.55. So, yeah, y'all, that is my update to my dividends for the month. If you have any questions, just let me know. I will be going over 
in detail of my investing with my members once I start back being able to invest what I'm buying and all of that jazz. So yeah, y'all, um, if you made it to the end of this video, just leave me a hey emoji. I hope that y'all have a blessed day and don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you. Your girl is out. This is my last video for the month of September, except for the September closeouts. And I'm about to go and start celebrating my birthday the best way that I can. So, all right, y'all. Bye.